Let's look at these products. Looking at the green container, you see it says insecticide dusting powder. And focusing more closely, it's actually dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane, also known as DDT. Yes, this is the infamous DDT powder that was used in all sorts of forms. And in this particular case, it was used during wartime for malaria and protection against lice. And it actually has the instructions on how to use it on the back for body lice, for pubic lice, etc. The product is actually very commonly used also as a insecticide in gardening. And this particular container is a good example of that. This was a petroleum-based DDT solution that you would put into a sprayer. The name of the sprayer is actually called a flit sprayer and was patented as such. You also have DTT that was available as a dusting powder, and this is actually a, uh, you press that little button and the powder would come out. Of course, these are empty. And this is 10% DDT, which will also go on surfaces. So whether it's on the body or on plants or on kitchen surfaces, DDT was very, very effective. Of course, DDT is a neurotoxin. It's a persistent organic pollutant, and it's also a probable human carcinogen. But again, this most infamous uh, reference is with Rachel Carlson's Silent Spring. This was the insecticide that she was writing about, among others.